Monster. You know him. The lemon-headed, nightmare-inducing uh, monster that wants to boil and eat us as well as our girlfriend. But how well do we really know them? Here's 10 things about Monster. The appearance of Monster and the sound of his two tracks, Monster and Winter Horrorland, suggests that he's designed after Lemon Demon, the online alias for artist Neil Cesariga, whose music was incredibly popular on new grounds in the internet in the early 2000s, with songs like The Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, which Neil performed and animated himself. However, during a Reddit AMA, Ninja Muffin 99 stated that the character is not designed after Lemon Demon and was an unintentional homage. Monster's songs are written and performed by Bassett Films, who also designed the character alongside artist Phantom Arcade. Bassett Films was likely approached to help with the Halloween-themed Week 2 due to his history of creepy horror animations and songs, like that of his animation, What's in the Bathtub. If you like Monster and Winter Horrorland, I definitely suggest checking out this animation, so I'll just leave a link to it down below for you to check out. The third Week 2 song, Monster, was originally scrapped being too difficult to map in time, thus making Week 2 the shortest week with two songs. However, modern Chaotic Gamer used the existing files in the games to map it correctly, impressing Friday Night Funkin' developers. By this time, Bassett Films had already been approached to perform another song for Week 5 since his character couldn't be included in time for Week 2. In the Week 7 update, Monster was added back into Week 2 with improved animations, similar to his appearance in Week 5, minus the hat, as the original unused animations were too static and appeared to clip into itself. Bassett Films has also stated that the opening for Monster was inspired by the Beatles song Your Mother Should Know from the 1967 album Magical Mystery Tour. Monster is also the longest song on the Friday Night Funkin' soundtrack at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. At the 30-second mark of the song Winter Horrorland, there can be heard a low auditory rumble only on the left channel of the song. <laughs> Fans have theorized that since Monster is standing on the left side of the room that the grumble must be his stomach, since many of his not-so-subtle lyrics include him killing and eating boyfriend and girlfriend. Speaking of Winter Horrorland, Bassett Films tweeted a short video of their musical inspirations for the song, the first of which being Santa Dog 88 by The Residents. Lyrical inspiration from It's Gonna Snow from The Year Without Santa. Snowmen smiling with your teeth. All endings greeted with your meat. And Let There Be Snow from Frosty Returns. You know why you love this season? The joy that the snow can bring. So why should you stop to reason? Just open your heart and sing. Cutting it out, it's like to make you till go round. Some you with spices. Serve two friends around. Monster is one of three characters to not use a microphone, girlfriend, spirit, and himself. His two tracks, Monster and Winter Horrorland, also don't have the singing and the backing track separated like other songs, only boyfriend's voice, making it impossible to listen to just the music without Monster singing, through the in-game assets at least. But then again, who would want to, am I right? Many believe Monster to just be a temporary asset name used for the opponent in the game files, but with the addition of the character in Week 5 and the re-addition of them in the Week 7 update, the simple name Monster has stuck, following the simple motif of character names in the game, like girlfriend, boyfriend, daddy, mommy, you get it. Though many people refer to him as Lemon Monster or Lemon Demon when talking about him, the game and the game files have never referred to him by these names, only Monster. Monster's first official appearance in the game is technically before the player even faces off with them. They can be seen next to Hatsune Miku, peering down from the second floor of the mall during the first two songs of Week 5. They may be easy to miss as they're tucked away in the far right side of the level, and due to the fact that so many other faces can be seen surrounding Monster, some familiar, some not maybe, it's plausible that he could be overlooked. Also personally, when I'm playing the later weeks, my attention is always dead set on the input prompts as opposed to the surroundings. As per the story of Friday Night Funkin', Monster tricked Skid and Pump into retrieving Girlfriend for him, telling them that she's made of candy. When they couldn't retrieve her, they decided to do it themselves. It's currently unknown what Monster's relations are to the other characters, but due to Skid and Pump being notoriously gullible as they are children, it would seem Monster could just tell them that Girlfriend's made of candy without any preconceived relationship, and they would just believe him. In the story mode menu, each week is accompanied by a looping render of each opponent. Spirit and Monster are currently the only two opponents that don't have a weak portrait, as they appear at the end of two separate weeks as surprise antagonists. These portraits may never even come to Friday Night Funkin' as they don't even exist in the game's files. 
Monster's head isn't a real lemon. When asked during a Twitter AMA by user Cannibal underscore Noodle about whether or not lemonade from Lemon Demon's head would taste good, Ninja Muffin 99 replied that it would taste terrible since it's not a real lemon, but just shaped and colored like one. This may not even be Monster's real appearance. When asked during the same Twitter AMA about what happened to all the other people in the mall by user Mimic, Ninja Muffin responded saying that Monster has the ability to twist perception, which explains why the entire mall changes appearance after he stepped into the ring. If he has the ability to alter perception, is it too far of a stretch to say that he may not even be a lemon demon to begin with? Could he be something more sinister? But hey! No, I'm not doing that bit again. And that's 10 things about Monster I hope you enjoyed. The reception to these types of videos have been really good so far, so I just want to thank you guys for the support. It's honestly crazy, and I, I don't even know what I did to deserve this. Uh, if you want to keep up with everything, Neb, be sure to sub, like, whatever. You've heard it a million times by now, and thanks again for watching. Um, until next time.